What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Pocket Monster Gaming Pokemon TCG unboxing. Today, I'm going to rip open the Urshifu VMAX League Battle Deck, the Rapid Strike version. I am pumped to rip into this. This is a super exciting product. Comes with a ton of incredible cards, and I've been wanting this to fill out a few decks and build this Rapid Strike Urshifu League Battle Deck. As you can see on the front, we're going to get some very strong Urshifu cards, which you'll take a closer look at here in a second. But turning it around, you can see there's a description for the deck. You have the deck list, tons of great cards in that deck list. And then we also have some very solid items in here in addition to that deck. So we're also going to get some poison and burn counters, a deck box, and some dice. Always love dice. Especially these ones that match the Urshifu, the Rapid Strike one. So it's a super cool product and we're going to rip this open. And then after we rip it open, we're going to get into some gameplay online to see how well this deck does. So let's go ahead and get started by opening this up. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to see more of similar content, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and drop a comment down below. That's going to help support the channel and keep you notified whenever I upload new Pokemon TCG content. Well, I have really torn this thing to pieces already, so uh, there's no going back. If I'm missing some cards, there's uh, no return in it, because this thing has been shredded. So we'll move the trash out of the way here. And we've got the juice in here, we got the guts, we got the meat. Let's take a look at this. So there's some beautiful stuff right there on the front. Let's separate the plastic here so I can check this out. Move that to the side for now. Let's take a look at these Urshifu cards, really the highlight of this box here. Luke Battle Decks are incredible products. Let's see if I can figure out how to get this out. I mean, I've gotten all the previous ones. I have not picked up the Single Strike one. Hopefully, I'm going to get that one soon. Um, that's a great one. Love the Single Strike Urshifu. Just as good as the Rapid Strike version. So, if this last V will come out, alright. So, I will sleeve these up in a little bit, but for now, we're just going to take a look. So, we're going to get two Rapid Strike Urshifu V. Essential for any Rapid Strike Urshifu deck. So this has Strafe and 100 Furious Blows, which are both solid attacks and it's a Rapid Strike Pokemon. Getting these bad boys is awesome. But then we also have the VMAX, which is crazy to get two of these. I think these are both like at least $4 cards as of time of filming. So the two of these are $8. Great value for this product, getting the whole deck and these Urshifu cards. This is Gale Dress, which can hit for up to 150 damage if you do, if you uh, use the attack correctly. And GMAX Rapid Flow is definitely the highlight of Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX. You can dish out some serious damage with that. So, both some great cards, the Vs and the VMAXs. We'll take a look how they uh, how they play into the deck here in a little bit. We have our Pokemon Trade Card Game Rules, great quick start guide. Gives you the rules. We also have a little piece of paper right here. We'll unfold this. So this right here is going to tell you um, a little description about the deck and flip it around and show some ways you can improve it with cards like Crobat, Telescopic Sight, and Possimian. Lots of great ways to upgrade the deck. If you have purchased the Intellion VMAX League Battle Deck, you can also merge that with this one. And you can do some pretty cool stuff with that by incorporating that Intellion Evolution Chain. We have our dice. Let's go ahead and open these up. This looks pretty cool from what I've seen so far. Loving the blue color scheme to this. Blue is a great color, and I love how it looks on here. So, we're going to have a nice color scheme. I don't really think I've seen any dice that are at all similar to this. So, it's our good dice. It's going to have a little bit of sparkle and glitter. So, I'll show, I'll show you guys this up um, a little bit closer, as you can see. Super cool, super glittery. Oh, yeah, that shot right there catches the glitter. That's pretty nice. We have our smaller dice as well. This particular one seems to be a bit darker than the other ones. I'm just going to do a comparison. Don't know if that's just a shadow or something. But, yeah, all super cool. Love getting some dice to add to my dice collection. I'm continuously getting more every time I open up a new product, but I'm a sucker for dice. I love all the different colors. So then we have our poison and burn counters. These are not metal, even though they appear so. They're just a standard size for a Pokemon coin, but these are a little fancier than your average um, poison or burn counter. Then we're going to have our deck of cards. We're also going to have the code card. I'm going to set that to the side because I do want to use that code to show you guys some decks featuring Rapid Strike Urshifu online. So if you're interested in that, make sure you sub up the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that. 
Now let's open this up and take a brief glance through the cards, and then I'll lay them all out so I can go through each of the cards and give you guys a deck profile. So we'll just run through this very quickly. We got some Marnies. Oh, are these sorted? Oh, hey, they are sorted somewhat. Um, not exactly in order of trainer Pokemon, but that's going to be really nice. I always love when Pokemon sorts my cards for me. It drives me nuts with the energy cards when they're not sorted. Oh, man, but we got some Marnies. We got the Rapid Strike Energy, Minchino, Stone Energy, Fighting Energy. Got a couple Karina, Research, Boss, Escape Rope, Switch, some Level Ball. Love Level Ball. Tool Scrapper, Net. A rod, some Tower of Waters, Pal Pad, Evo Incense, Quick Ball, Fan Oils, there's a Cheryl, we got a couple Octillery, got some Remoraid, Phalanx, Zigzagoon, and Chin Chino. So I'm going to go ahead and divvy up these cards and lay them out in order so I can give you guys a deck profile. Alright, so I've got the deck all sorted and now we're going to start with our deck profile. So first we're going to start with those two Urshifu V, which I showed earlier. It's a great card. It's first attack strafe, hits for 30 damage for one fighting energy, and you can switch it with one of your pinched Pokemon if you'd like. Nice to put in a little bit of chip damage. And then 100 Furious Blows for two fighting energy and one Carlos, hits for 150 damage. Rapid Strike Urshifu V has 220 HP and it's a Rapid Strike Pokemon. It doesn't do much with its attacks, but what does do a lot with its, with its attacks it's going to be Urshavu VMAX, which we have two copies of. Gale Dress does 30, da 30 damage if you use one Fighting Energy, and then it does 120 more if you moved Urshavu VMAX from the bench to the active spot during this turn, so it does some serious damage for just one energy. We're going to have GMAX Rapid Flow, which will be our main attack for this deck. Two Fighting Energy, one Carlos, discards all energy from Urshavu, and then does 120 to two of our opponent's Pokemon. That can put some serious spread damage on the board and target some of the smaller Pokemon on your opponent's bench. It's a very powerful attack. So Urshifu is going to be our main attacker, but we do have some other Pokemon in the deck to support it. So we have three copies of a Remoraid. Remoraid has not great attacks. It's mostly just in here to evolve into Octillery, which we'll touch on in a second. But it is a Rapid Strike Pokemon, which is nice. There's two copies of Octillery, which has the Rapid Strike Search ability. It's going to be our main engine for the deck. It allows us to search a, our deck for a Rapid Strike card every turn, which is incredible. We can only activate that ability once per turn, though, so that's just something you want to keep in mind. But it can find our VMAXs, our Vs, any Rapid Strike cards in our deck, which we do play a lot of them. So Octillery is incredible. We're going to have two copies of Minchino. So Minchino is in here to evolve into Chinchino, which is another great engine for this deck. Allows us to just draw some cards. So we do have the two copies of Chinchino, as I mentioned. So Chinchino is going to have Make Do and Energy Assist. We're not going to really be using Energy Assist, but Make Do does say you must discard a card from your hand in order to use this ability. Once you're in your turn, you may draw two cards. Always great to draw some more cards and dig a little bit deeper into our deck so we can find the cards we need. For our, our other Pokemon, we're going to have three copies of Phalanx, which has the attack Rapid Strike Squad. It's for 20 damage for each of your Rapid Strike Pokemon in play, and it comes at the cost of a Fighting Energy and a Carlos Energy. So we can easily pay for that with one Rapid Strike Energy, which is awesome, and it's an incredible alternate attacker. We have one copy of Gordon Zigzagoon to end out the Pokemon, which you can drop down for a little extra damage on our opponent's Pokemon with its ability Headbutt Tantrum. We also run Scoob up in the end of deck, so we can Scoob it back up and play it back down for more ability activations. For our stadiums, we're going to have two copies of Tower of Wonders, which lowers the retreat cost of each of our Rapid Strike Pokemon by two. So that's going to give a lot of our Rapid Strike Pokemon for your retreat. So it's an incredible stadium for the deck, for sure. We're going to have three copies of Professor's Research to kick off the supporter cards. Professor's Research is a classic staple in a lot of decks. It allows us to discard our hand and draw fresh seven. So it's a great card and allows us to draw a lot of cards. It's going to be super useful. Next, we're going to carry three copies of Marnie. So Marnie is going to be the uh, same purpose as Professor's Research. Allows us to draw some more cards, but it also does give us an option to disrupt our opponent's hand size if we choose to do so. This deck features two copies of Boss's Orders to bring up the Pokemon on our opponent's bench that we want to knock out with maybe uh, Gale Dressed or something. Uh, something that we can't target on the bench or maybe we need to hit a little harder with a different attack. 
Two copies of Karina's Focus, which is an incredible draw supporter for any Rapid Strike deck. Allows us to draw cards till we have six in our hand and is a Rapid Strike supporter, so it's searchable with Octillery. Our last supporter card is going to be Cheryl. Cheryl is a great card to activate after you've used a G-Max Rapid Flow because it heals all damage from each of your evolution Pokemon. If you healed out damage, you have to discard all energy from the Pokemon that were healed in this way. So after we activate that G-Max Rapid Flow, there won't be any energy left on Urshifu V-Max, so it's a great time to use Cheryl to heal all the damage off of it. We're going to have four copies of Quick Ball to use the item cards uh, that discards a card from a hand and finds a basic Pokemon, super useful for finding those Urshifu V. We're going to have three copies of Level Ball, which can find Phalanx, Chinchino, Minchino, Remoraid, and Argolarian Zigzagoon. So it's a super useful card for this deck, and if you are looking to upgrade this deck, you'll probably want to max out on Level Ball because it is super useful for this deck. We're going to have two copies of Evolution Incense to find those Evolution Pokemon, namely Octori and Urshifu VMAX, because those Pokemon do have more than 90 HP, so they're not searchable with Level Ball, so Evolution Incense is in here to find those Pokemon, but we can use it to find Chin Chino if we would like. Two copies of Escape Rope in here, which is a nice card, can act as a boss's orders, kind of, if you combine it with Tower of Waters, so it's super useful. We have Switch, which is great for bringing our Pokemon down to the bench and back up again, so we can use uh, the max amount of damage from Gale Dress. Always great. We have one copy of Tool Scrapper, which is going to be nice to remove the tools on our opponent's side of the playing field. There's one Scoop Up Net to bring up our Zigzagoon, or maybe if one of our Pokemon that is a single prize Pokemon is getting some damage on it, we can scoop it up to deny our opponent a prize card. We have one copy of Ordinary Route to bring some of those Pokemon back into our deck. Obviously, this deck only features two Urshifu V and two Urshifu V Max, so if we wanted to use Ordinary Rod to get those back, that's a great play. We have one Pal Pad to bring back the supporter cards, mainly Cheryl because we do only, only play one copy, so Pal Pad is a great way to get Cheryl back to the deck. Finishing off the item cards, we have Fan of Ways, which puts a special energy attached to one of our opponent's Pokemon on the bottom of our deck. Special energy is huge in the format right now, so getting to take some of that away with Fan of Waves is awesome. And there's no coin flip involved, it's just guaranteed. So Fan of Waves is awesome. Now for the energy cards, we're going to have four copies of Rapid Strike Energy, which pays for Urshifu's cost nicely. It can only be attached to a Rapid Strike Pokemon, and says as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides two in any combination of Water Energy and Fighting Energy. So that's super strong, and it's going to be the main way to power up Urshifu's G-Max Rapid Flow attack. We're going to have four copies of Stone Fighting Energy, which is basically a basic fighting energy, but it does reduce the damage done to Urshifu by 20 for each Stone Energy you have attached. So it's a pretty nice way to include some energy, it's because it does do a little bit of damage reduction, which is always nice. And then we're going to finish out the deck with four copies of basic fighting energy. So it's a very strong deck, and I love doing this deck profile, but now we're going to take it onto the versus ladder on PGCGL and see if we can grab a win with this deck. Let's go! Alright, so we're doing the gameplay for Rapid Strike Urshfu V Max League Battle Deck, and we're going to call heads. We're going to lose the coin flip. Hopefully we get to go first. They are going to go first. That's all right. That's all right. We're gonna start Minchino. Not too shabby of a hand right here. I think I can work with this. Got a couple of level ball, which is nice. Oh, looks like we're gonna be going up against a Rapid Strike Urshifu V. Yeah. Cool. So it's going to be sort of a mirror match. Alright, so it's our turn here. Looks like we didn't get much going for them. Alright, so... Uh, I'm probably going to Marty, so let's go ahead. Level ball for the Minchino. want to set up these Chinchinos so we can... Um, so we can get our draw power going. It's quick ball for the Urshfu V. 
we're going to drop him on the bench. Going to level ball again. Let's grab a Remoraid this time. Pop that on the bench. Energy onto Urshifu and we will Marty. Alright, so not too shabby for next turn. Got the Karina, Scape Rope, Rapid Strike Energy. Can make some stuff happen next turn. Gonna pass it on back to them. So they have a couple Urshifu set up. There's a Remoraid. So these could turn into V-Maxes. There's Telescopic Sight. Rapid Strike Energy. Might have maybe a Research in hand. They do not. Alright, so let's do a Rapid Strike Energy. A Gorian Zigzagoon. Oh, let's throw a damage counter on him. Let's use the Escape Rope. Trying to play out my hand as much as possible. So I can draw the most cards off of the Karina's Focus. We'll see what they bring up off of this Escape Rope. Wouldn't mind if it was the Remoraid. Because then I would be able to get the knockout. It does not look like it's going to be the Remoraid. Looks like it's going to be... Um... There. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. We got the VMAX, everybody. We also have the Octillery. Which is very nice. We can use the Rapid Strike Search on here to grab, let's grab another Urshifu V. Gonna get him, throw that on the bench. We're gonna activate G-Max Rapid Flow to hit Urshifu and Remoraid. Grab a prize card right here. It's a Marty, all right. Always love a good draw supporter. Hopefully I find the cards I need to evolve into Chinchino. So I can start drawing even more cards off of that capacious bucket. Find some water energy. Maybe they're running Melanie in the deck. Alright. And it's gonna be Sonic Legs. So that's a cool play. I like the strategy using the Sonic Legs. We'll see how well it works out for him. I think we should throw the Rapid Strike Energy on there, maybe? Um, maybe I want to lay down a Gale Thrust. Um, let's see. So, I think I'm doing the Stone energy the escape rope into the V gonna do the rapid strike search for tower of waters put that out we're going to oh, I don't think we necessarily need to Marnie I think we're going to try and keep them at the low hand size here. We're going to throw down Gale Thrust for 150 damage. Very nice. So hopefully next turn we can set up a, a G-Max Rapid Flow with that Rapid Strike Energy. And then lay down game right here. Even if they do have another Pokemon, we should pick up four prize cards. See what they draw at us right here. Energy. And Sonic Legs, so I think we should have game right here, everybody. Let's see. Sonic Legs, see who they hit on the bench. Alright, so this is going to increase the damage on that Urshifu, but I believe we have them right here. G-Max Rapid Flow. Boom! Demonstrating the power of Rapid Strike Urshifu V-Max very well. Taking out all the Pokemon on the field for the W. Awesome. If you enjoyed today's deck profile and unboxing of the Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX League Battle Deck, and if you enjoyed that gameplay, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and drop a comment down below. That's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, trainers.